Now let's review shock. Shock is a critical condition where the body has decreased tissue perfusion, eventually leading to organ failure and death. The classic sign to know for your exams and the NCLEX is low blood pressure. So the memory trick, just think of the double S's. S for shock, we see severely low blood pressure. And so oxygen can't get to the organs, leading to organ failure and death. Now for the four stages of shock. First is the initial stage. There's too little oxygen in the blood to feed the organs, resulting in anaerobic metabolism meaning metabolism without oxygen. But the signs and symptoms are absent in this stage. Now the second is compensatory stage. This is where the body is trying to compensate for that low oxygen. So the heart will pump faster going into tachycardia, the respiratory rate will increase to get more oxygen, so we see tachypnea, and the body compensates with the sympathetic nervous system to speed up the vital signs. And the renin-angiotensin activation to maintain blood pressure and oxygenation, to keep the organs perfused. Now, as compensatory mechanisms fail, clients progress into the progressive stage. Now, a key sign to know for your exams is cold and clammy skin. This is priority. Huge NCLEX tip, so write that down. This is an early sign that the body is lacking perfusion and getting worse, not being able to compensate anymore, it's progressing into this progressive stage here. So don't let the NCLEX trick you. It's not low oxygen saturation, and it's not tachycardia. Those are compensatory, as the body is trying to scramble for oxygen. So cold and clammy skin is priority for progressive stage. And the last stage is irreversible, basically meaning death is imminent. Now there are five types it up. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to take the quiz and download the study guides. And also please consider sharing with the classmate.